Hi friends, today we will discuss how to configure JDBC authentication module in OpenAM. Okay, so first of all, what is the uh, JDBC authentication module in OpenAM? So by using the other database, we can authenticate the users by using the OpenAM server. Okay, suppose we have a users in the database, whether it is a MySQL, Oracle, or PostgreSQL, whatever it is. So by using the JDBC authentication module, we can authenticate the users. So in this video, I'm going to using MySQL database. Okay. Uh, so, by, so first of all, before going to show this demo, we need to install uh, OpenAM and we need to install uh, MySQL server database. But in this video, I'm not going to showing MySQL database installation. You can see that uh, we have given the uh, uh, MySQL database installation links in the description. So please go through that. Okay. So first of all, we have to start the OpenAM server. So in this my system already OpenAM is running. Okay. So here I am using the XAMP uh, by using the XAMP tool uh, to install the MySQL databases. Now MySQL is running. So this is the my database open name. So in this we have a user underscore login underscore details. Here we have users. So we have to authenticate by using this uh, uh, database and by using the this table. Okay. Now how to configure this module in the open name? I will show you. Okay. Uh, first of all, login into the OpenAM application. Sorry. Okay. Once again, you can log. You can try to log in. Yeah. So now I'm going to showing JDBC authentication module configuration in demo realm. So click on the demo realm. Go to authentication. So go to modules. So here you have to create. JDBC authentication module JDBC test. Okay. Now select here JDBC. Okay. Click on create. So here it is given default uh, parameters. So we have to edit according to our database details. So one thing I need to tell. So before configuring to this module, okay. So we need to download MySQL connector jar file from the website and you have to add into open name server so i will show you how to add it okay there is a link i am giving here this is a moment link we can download i am showing 5.1.48 mysql database so copy this link and download the jar file okay i'm going to closing another window maybe better yeah here you can download the jar file 5.1.48 after downloading the jar file copy that jar file from the download location go to where we have a postdoc uh, application running okay so my the postdoc open name application running in from this folder okay inside the tomcat there is a web apps there is a am there is a web inf there is a lib here we have to paste it so here <clears throat> You are seeing correct. So MySQL connected Java 5.1.48. So you have to paste the jar file in this location. Once this pasted here, we have to restart the Tomcat server. Then only the jar file will be applicable. So else will not be work. Okay. So after pasting here, you have to restart the Tomcat server. Okay. Once the Tomcat server is restarting, then again you have to access the OpenAM application like this and you have to come here create the JDBC test module. So here we have options, okay, connection type. So I'm not going to using any connection pool. So I'm going to using non-persistent JDBC connection. And uh, so here you're not using connection pooling. So you have to empty this field, okay. It should be empty field. And JDBC driver, we can give the JDBC driver like this com.mysql.jdbc.driver. Okay, the same already they have given the default and JDBC URL. So, this is the my database URL. So, JDBC MySQL localhost 303306 port. Open name is the database. Okay, copy this, paste it here. Okay, here also you can have like use any database. Here we can change the your, if you have any database IP, you can change it here directly. You can give the port and I can give the database name. So I'm giving my database details and my database username is the Narayana. 
and password is something like that okay and here you can see password column name in the database so here we have a uh, table so in this table what is the password column i have also given the name is password so you can give the same name okay you can give the same name password so i can remove this underscore column okay now here are they're asking prepared statement so select password column from table where username equal to question mark so like this way we can configure our our selection query like select my password column from the table from the this table user underscore login underscore details and where username equal to so this is my table correct like user id sorry username user id is a unique id username so select password from user login details where username equal to question mark so like this you can copy this one and paste it here okay and here there is a class to transform the password syntax right now i am using the plain password only in the database also so that's why i am going to using the clear text transformation okay so if you want to any encryption mechanism to uh, transform the plain text password to encryption so we have to customize and we have to add that uh, java file into here okay so yeah now click on the save changes okay now see here module the jdbc module is created jdbc test module is created now try to oh now we have to validate whether the module is working or not okay so how to validate so open the in new private window go to the open aim application go to the particular realm uh, what is the realm so realm is demo uh, uh, and auth index type is uh, module and jdbc test jdbc test i enter so now here we have got the login page so now what users we have we will create the new user in the database okay now i am creating the new user okay Narayana tutorial username is Narayana tutorial. So I'm giving three like this. And password is something admin one two three four. Password is admin is a description. You can give anything. Now click on this one. Yeah, the user is created. You can see here. The user is created. Now we can use this user to log in. Okay. There is login page here. Okay. Type the Narayana tutorial password. Okay. Logged in. Okay. So successfully, you are able to log in. Here, one thing I have to tell so you go to the authentication settings. So there is a user profile. So here we have a dynamic we have given, okay? So if you given the requirement, it will not work. It will not work means the user profile should be exist in the open DJ, else it will not, uh, even after authentication, the user will not able to log in into the application. Let's see, I will well, I will show you how, to, how it is. And now, uh, so the user is came into the, our, uh, identity store okay identities you can see here narayana tutorial yeah i'm going to deleting again this user so yeah now we can log out this one try to log in with the same username narayana tutorial so Okay. user requests profile to login so it means that this profile should be the username should be exist in the open digit then only we will able to login because of we have enabled the user profile required so it will give that uh, ignored okay so it means that profile 
it will not validate whether it is exist or not in the open dj once authentication is successful open will create the session and it will be able to log in into the home page application okay now you can see here you can replace the screen now we have given the user profile is uh, ignored okay narayana tutorial password see so here it's not fetching the any value card or previously if it is a dynamic the value fetching into the last name also now we don't have any user details in the open dj generally this uh, open name connecting to the mysql database by using the jdbc connect mysql jdbc connectors and will validate that username and password once authentication is successful it will create the session and it will allow into the application okay so in this happening if it is required the profile username should be exist in the open dj also if it is a dynamic the user profile will be created after the authentication after the user authentication okay so that is the variation of between this ignored dynamic and required okay so by using this module uh, we can use the uh, by using this module we can authenticate by using the another databases okay so if it is any legacy if you have any legacy legacy databases we are not moving the data users to the our open dj then in that situation we can use the or jdbc test module okay simply okay so but, but for this we can connect to any database like or mysql like that okay but uh, we have to download the jar file and we have to keep it inside the web and a flip folder okay so then only it will work but after putting this jar file into a banner flip you need to restart the tomcat server okay so we can log out here okay so i think guys you will understand uh, how to configure jdbc module in the open AI. thank you thank you for watching the video please subscribe so you can get the latest videos from the narana tutorial channel thank you